Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day three. Let's go ahead and spend this one skill point that we have. As much as I would like to put it into Sexual Tyrannosaurus to help out with stamina, I'm going to go Advanced Engineering to unlock the forge so we can get one of those put down, uh, hopefully by this evening. I put in more of the floor last night. I also did up this room in here, put in the floor and storage so we can get nice and organized. Pop this window open. I'm going to leave it like this for now. I might actually knock this whole wall out and extend this area so we can put more storage and maybe some workbenches in here or whatever. So uh, we'll see about that. Let's check on Pumba. How you doing, Pumba? You still doing good? Seems to be doing good. Only problem with Pumba is he's kind of sitting where I want to build out the base. So that could be a problem. We might have to take care of him. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, we're going down the road here. We're gonna fuck with those, uh, trailer parks today. Run through those and see what else this town has to offer. And on top of that, it looks like the desert biome is right down the road here. So, I want to check that out. We can pick up some yucca plants. They don't do much for your hunger. I think they only give you, like, one hunger. Which is not much, but we can make yucca juice out of them. And we can make the yucca smoothies, which is actually really good. But to do those, we need to get, uh, I think, Master Chef to level 3. Oh, look at this house. Very familiar with this house here. You know what? Let's grab the main stash out of here before we do the trailer park. If you, I've, I've done this plenty of times in past videos, but if you've never seen it, all you got to do is dig down by the tree that is outside of this house, and there will be a hatch underground that will lead you down to the main stash. There it is. Now, right, just get down this ladder. You got to knock the spikes out of the way. Just the ones in the middle. So you don't get stuck in the ass here. And break into this room. And then the loot room is just beyond here. You can get in and out of this place without even having to mess with some zombies. But we're going to kill some zombies anyway, just because we need the XP. There's some blunderbuss ammo. Some brass. That's pretty much it for this room. Let's get through here. Actually, hold on. Let's check this trash first. Because once I break those wooden planks, the zombies are going to wake up. So we'll get into this room. And there's going to be two doors. Alright, zombies are behind that one. Behind this door is the main stash. Now, we could just grab the stash and get out of here before the zombies break through this door. But I want to kill them first because it's going to be easy kills. Unless they keep jumping over my shot like that. And uh, like I said, we can use the XP. Ah, level 3 stone shovel. I'm going to scrap the wire tool because we have one back at home already. And I'll scrap this level 2 shovel and this level 2 axe. Can't scrap the chair just yet. We did level up killing those zombies though, so let's put this point right into sexual Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's grab that wooden club, though. We don't need that. Is this padded hood any better than our mining helmet? Not really. I will put on the level 3 padded leg armor, though. And uh, let's bring down this other blunderbuss. So we can get off two shots without having to reload. Hey, blueberry pie. That is great. And not much in there. We'll scrap that shovel. That pie, though, 45 food. It's pretty good. We are kind of hungry now, but I'm going to hold on to that. Wait until we're real hungry. Let's put this modifier on the leg armor. And let's get out of here. All right. Let's uh, check the mailbox. Why not? Paper. And let's just start looting, but I'm definitely going to put down some storage here outside the trailer park. This way we can unload into it uh, when we get encumbered. You know, I'm not going to run home every time we have a full inventory. We'll just load up the storage box, and if we have to make a couple of trips later to get all the stuff home, then we will. We clear in here? I think so, but we woke the neighbors up. That's my bad. I forgot the old trailer park rule. No firing shotguns until 7 a.m. 
Little bathroom right here. Oh, I forgot my helmet light mod. Let's pop that on. Just picked up a level one wrench. I'll probably scrap that thing for the iron. No reason to have two of those. Bink. All right. Hold on to everything else for now. Oh, ear of corn. Yes. A few more and we can make a corn seed. Oh, fuck yeah. Cornmeal, baby. We're eating tonight. Water. Nothing in here. And it sounds like there is a shit ton of zombies outside. None at this door, though. Where are they? On the other side? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Boom, flatline. I don't feel like punching anymore. Let's work out our trigger finger. Boom. Man, lots of zombies this morning. This is great. Because we could use the XP. You ain't dead, lady. Hey, let me punch you in the booty. Don't. Oh, damn it. Stupid leather knuckle wraps. Can't wait to get rid of these things. It is pretty fun, though. You know, going from never using my fists to um, not only using them, but using them way more than I normally do. We got a crawler in here. Let's close this door. This room is clear. I'm just going to shoot this fucker. I don't feel like fighting in this little trailer. You know, I was thinking about doing uh, a fists only series back in like Alpha 18 or 17 or something. Um, but I decided not to, and I'm glad I decided not to, because I probably would have got tired of that shit real quick. Hey, peace. There's some food we can eat. You know, it's fun to use, but to be able to fall back to a gun, or even a sledgehammer, or just something more powerful, um, makes it a whole lot more tolerable. You know? At least until we can get to, um, a higher brawler level and get some of those steel knuckles, then we can start really beating the shit out of some zombies. Structural brace mod. Let's throw that on our shovel. We're going to be using the shovel quite a bit later because I'm thinking for a base, we try a pit base. Now, last time I tried a pit base was in Ghost Town and spoiler alert, it didn't work out that great. But I don't know. I'm not thinking of something huge, just something manageable. And something kind of next to the barn. Hey, Kenny. Is this your house, Kenny, or you just cook here? Uh, but yeah, something manageable next to the barn. And if it's working well, then we can build on it. And if it's not working well, we can fall back to maybe a different setup. But either way, we need to start working on it, like this evening. Because a couple more days, we're going to have our first horde. Now, I don't think the Night 5 horde is going to be a very big horde, but we need something. We can't just be running around on foot with a couple of blunderbusses. Hi, neighbor. Boom. That's the New Jersey version of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Coffee seed. I'll grow coffee. Why the hell not? Antibiotic. All right, let's scrap this shit and take this bed apart. Uh, what the hell? I can't take the bed apart? Maybe I can take the frame apart. That's what it is. You gotta knock the mattress out of the way first. Any zombies in here? No? There's a chest. All right, well, let's close this door and loot. Hey, miso soup, I can eat that. I feel like this is just a series about trying to fucking feed myself a potato seed. I'll plant that tonight. You know, like in my other series, uh... I gotta break this to loot that medical supplies. Uh, in every other series I've ever done, I, I never even think about food. It's like not even an issue. I just kill a bunch of animals and make a ton of boiled meat. Now it's like, it's all I think about. I feel like I can't do anything else except look for a food. Hey, that's decent. Let's check this backpack. All right. 
Uh, scrap, scrap. Let's go ahead and eat the miso now. Scrap the can. What do we got here? Dukes. Find more dukes and loot. Nice. And uh, you can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage while carrying 5,000 dukes or more. I don't have anywhere near that yet. There's some yucca. Or yucca. However you want to pronounce it, I say yucca. You got a problem with that? Then yucca, fuck off. Hey, I missed this blueberry plant before. Two blueberries. It's not much, but I'll take it. Art of Mining book. Coffee. Harvest 10% more ore when buzzed from coffee. That works. Now we searched this trash already. This is the home uh, Big Boy broke out of. Nothing going on back here. Murky water. Looks like we got an ammo pile in here. Another level one wrench, which we will scrap for the iron. And that's pretty much it for in here. Got a zombie in here trying to beat through the wall of this place. If only zombies knew how to use doors. Hey, burning shaft mod. What are we gonna put that thing on? Can we put it on our fists? No. That's a shame. I guess I'll put it on the stone axe. I never had a burning stone axe before. So this is a first. Uh, the last shot in the chamber does double damage. That's for the magnum. Hey, another burning shaft mod. I don't know why I'm surprised. You would expect to find burning shafts in a trailer park. Water. Empty glass jar. What are we gonna put a second burning shaft mod on? I guess the shovel? I think that, I think it gives it, uh, like more damage. And since we're gonna be doing some digging tonight, I guess that's what we'll do. Oh, workbench. Please be working. Damn it. That would have been sweet. Could have got a bicycle crafted. Son of a bitch. Here's the desert. Oh, hey, cabin. Uh, let's do this house, though. Might as well. Come on, break through. You can do it. One more time. There you go. Oh, did that hurt? Come here, let me give you another one. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna blow his knees out. Oh, he doesn't like that. Come here, fucker. Oh, <laughs> this is too fun. Let me get you again. Oh, that was his breaking point. Sham, I guess I'll hold on to it for now. I don't know why. It only sells for like 12 bucks. I should probably just scrap it for the iron. I don't mind holding on to it and selling it here on day three. Obviously, as we progress, I'll just be scrapping that shit because I'm not going to hold on to something that sells for 12 bucks. All right, let's stop over at the storage chest real quick before we head upstairs because we are just about encumbered. Oh, thank you for that. Hey, a duster. And a level four stone sledgehammer. Let's put the duster on. We can't do anything with this food. But I am going to bring this sledgehammer down, though. Uh, 
Uh, ski goggles or agility goggles. Uh, and since we're not wearing the nerdy glasses or lucky looter goggles, let's throw those on. What the fuck was going on up here? Some sort of seance? Oh, shit. Damn, lady. You fucking scared me. Are you the only one? Seems that way. Something got sacrificed up here. I'm gonna take these candles. We'll find a place in the barn to put them. Nice. Ooh, hunting rifle. It's only a level one, but shit, I don't care. The more guns we can get before the Night 5 Horde, the better. Well, we definitely have the time to raid that cabin, but I don't think we have the inventory space. Plus, that storage chest is completely full right now. So I'm just going to grab some yucca, maybe some aloe, and then we'll probably uh, make a stop back home. We got a coyote right there. As long as it doesn't rush me, I'm not going to kill it. Oh. Stupid cactus. Didn't even see it. I guess that's stupid me. Right? Uh, maybe we can raid the garage here at the cabin. Oh, let's check this spot out real quick. Ah, oh, there we go. Decent helmet. Level 4 leather knuckle wraps. Maybe those will do better than the level 2s. Let's bring them down. And let's switch out our helmet light mod with this helmet here. Bam. Hey, motherfucker. You want to feel what level four knuckles feel like? Oh, you just got laid out. Look at him still swinging on the ground and shit. You don't even know what planet he's on. Oh, we got a battery and an engine right there, so that's pretty sweet. Let's check out this garage real quick. I'm still keeping an eye out for that damn coyote. Anything in here except boxes? Stuffle bag. Oh, there you go. That's some decent armor right there. Let's put that on. Man, this running back and forth is such a waste of time. We need to either put another point into advanced engineering so we can craft our own workbench, which eventually we have to do that anyway, but if we can find a workbench in the world, then we can throw a point into Grease Monkey and get the bicycle crafted, like, right away. That's what I was hoping for today, to find a workbench. Unfortunately, the one we found in that house was destroyed. Let's stop off here and at least raid the kitchen, because we didn't find all that much food today. This front door's open, there's a big hole in the house. I don't think this is a dungeon-style POI, meaning there's no, like, set route to take, and there's probably not a big pile of loot waiting for us at the end, which is fine, because I don't have the inventory space to deal with a big pile of loot. I was just hoping to find a little more food. Son of a bitch. Alright, I guess we really do need to be focusing on maxing out Master Chef and living off the land first. Because if we can't sustain our own life, what's the point? You know? We can always focus on vehicles and making our character tougher down the line. Oh, hey, Kenny. Kenny's a heavy sleeper. That woke him up. Kenny may have been the only zombie in here. There usually aren't that many zombies in, uh, in these types of houses. Marky water. Lead. Running out of space here. Vitamin. I guess I'll eat it. Hey, a couple of books here. Urban combat. Learning how to jump and land quietly. Um, when you're, like, sneaking or whatever. Okay. And breaching ammo. 
You can use breaching ammo to open up doors, safes, vaults. I've never used that before, but I heard it's pretty effective. Another can of miso soup. I'll eat it. Is there an attic in this place? There might be. I don't know. Let's pop this roof open and see. Oh, there's something. Hey, weapons bag. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there you go. Here, take the bone knife. I want the real knife. And I bet I can put that um, armor mod on a piece of armor, and I can put that blade mod on the knife we just picked up. Oh, look at this. My corn is growing. I am farming like a motherfucker. Oh, shit. That's not good. Well, he's dead, but there are more coming. And I am not set up with any kind of defenses here. Damn it. Fuck off, lady. Son of a bitch. Got a little wandering horde here. Uh-oh. Man, what a little shit show that was. Better work on some defenses tonight. Alright, we got coffee, two blueberries, a potato, and some corn. We're getting there. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and make an iron hatch, too. What the hell? We'll get that upgraded again. This way, if that shit jumps off again with zombies, we can run in here, pop this hatch up, and deal with them right here in this doorway. Instead of uh, running up the ladder and running all around like a fucking moron. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, the base took a little bit of damage with all that bullshit, but uh, that was mostly me firing the blunderbuss like a madman. But uh, it's not a big deal. I'm going to get all this loot organized and um, start thinking about this horde base and maybe start doing a bit of work to it as well. And we'll pick things up here on the morning of day four. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown and I will catch you guys in the next episode.